Ray Rizzy, we out here right now with Benny Boom on Hip Hop Nation, serving up all these hip hop hits. And I just want to say, um, I definitely want to salute Solomon Onita Jr. As you said, he's a director. This was his first uh, di directorial debut in a feature full length film, I believe. And I see that he won an award. I believe that was the John Singleton Director Award for Best First Feature at the 2020 American Black Film Festival. Obviously, we're here in Black History Month. And what does it mean to you to, to get more of these stories about the Black experience, Black culture, especially out to the viewers at a time like this? Because it's not only Black History Month, and let's be clear, Black history for us is every day. Every day. But in a day, in a time like this, in a climate like this, how important is it for you to share a story like this? Man, it's, it's, it's so important. Um, the one thing along with um, talking to Solomon, like I, I, I didn't give, the guidance I wanted to give him as a producer was um, to help him get his vision across. Not, it wasn't my vision, you know? And I think that's what happens when um, you do movies and you're a director and it's a, a big, uh, a studio, what they call a studio movie where it's like, you know, a Universal or, or Paramount or one of the bigger Warner Brothers, one of the bigger studios, you tend to get guided by people who have never made a film. And so in the independent world, you're writing it, you're directing it. Um, you're looking for other ideas within it from other people. And it's usually from folks that have done it before, you know? So that's what I wanted to be for him. I wanted to be the person to help him see uh, his idea all the way through. Um, and so with that being said, we are in a climate now where we can tell our own stories the way that we want to tell them, you know, and it's been, it's been a long, hard battle for us and a lot of sacrifices. A lot of people, directors and writers have sacrificed a lot, um, and gotten bad names because they, they stood their ground on things and wanted to tell their own stories. But now it's all coming to fruition. If you look around, man, we got producers and writers and you know anytime you got like the shy is written by somebody from the shy you mm -hmm. know and you don't have to you know what I'm saying you got like you know you got power on tv you know and and although it's written you know it's written by somebody and bought to 50 and then he put his touch on it and then they go out and then you know what I mean so it's like this authenticity there at, at it right now that we didn't have before I mean empire you know, these are these were shows, you know, all these kind of shows ushered in, I think, what is a new golden age of of black television and black cinema. So now when you when I walk into a room or in a Zoom call or what have you, and I'm talking about a film, if I'm on the Zoom or I'm in a room talking about a film, a black subject, and there are no other black attendees that can make the decisions, it's just not the right room or the right project. You know, like don't bring me on to to validate the project. Where's the black writer? Where's the black producer that understands this material? And it's more than just, you know, uh, just material for them, you know? Right. So I think right now we are, um, we're in a good, a good place where filmmakers, filmmakers can stand their ground and writers can stand their ground, even actors, you know, you don't have to take roles. You don't have to be a gangster role. If, if you don't want to, there's so much other stuff out there right now, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, I tell you this right now, Benny, I really appreciate you being a part of this story because I think it's going to resonate with so many different people. But over the years, you've been able to tell a lot of different people's stories and invoke that feeling in people. And that's a special gift in itself. And I just want to say Thank for you. all of us, I want to give you your flowers, brother. All right, Thank maybe you, brother. I, I give you some Tim's. All right? I'm going to give you some Tim's. I'm going to give you your Tim's to represent Brooklyn. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Philly origin, I, originally from Philly and then moved to Brooklyn. So I'm right. a Philly, Philly, hit, Philly kid. Right. Yeah. Oh, you believe me, man. I've been in the 215 so much <laughs> over the last year they will not know he from philly he with us all right but you know we cousins come on we cousins man that's right that's right for everybody out there listening man i want everybody to stay tapped in not only for this project tasmanian devil which is out right now makes mm -hmm. you go support that but also to tap into whatever you have going on in the future yeah. so instagram twitter website how can they stay in touch um i'm benny boom on instagram uh super boom on twitter i'm actually kind of trying to change that to i don't i gotta figure out how to put those two together um but that's it man right there i don't have facebook or, or that but um, i'm on instagram a lot on twitter a lot 
Um, so you can catch me, catch me right there. Right now I'm working on um, Black Lightning, um, a show called City on the Hill with Kevin Bacon and Aldous Hodge, which is really dope. It's on Showtime. Showtime, uh, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, you know, a lot of things in the works, man. A lot mm-hmm. of things, yeah. But don't Stay- forget, oh, good, we say? I was saying, staying busy. That's a great staying thing. Staying busy, staying busy, staying busy, man. And, and you know, giving other filmmakers and other uh, people an opportunity to find their voice, you know, and that's really what, that's what this is. That's what Tasmanian Devil is um, for Solomon. I'm me giving him an opportunity to find his voice as a filmmaker. Right, man. Well, look, this is what I want to do for everybody that was hearing your voice and maybe they caught it in the middle of our interview. Don't worry, we got you with Sirius XM On Demand. So download that Sirius XM app to your iPhone or Android. Just search Benny Boom, Gray Rizzy, Hip Hop Nation. You'll be able to listen to it on your time on demand. Also, make sure you follow us on the gram and on Twitter at Hip Hop Nation, at Gray Rizzy. Turn on them damn notifications and go see Tasmanian Devil is out there right now. Benny Boom, I appreciate you, my brother. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it so much, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Yes, sir. Will do. It's great, Rizzy. We out here. Keep it locked. We still got this music. In fact, I'm going to try to fit in some Jacquees. I feel like Birdman going to call me if I don't do that right now. We, we will do it. Laugh now. Cry later. Right now. It's Drake along with Lil Dirk. Let's get it. Hey.